guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and in today's marathon episode of Bunches of Lunches, I'm sharing 16 hot lunch ideas that are perfect for this chilly weather. These lunches are perfect to have at home, at school, or at work. They're all super tasty, but easy to make. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love fun lunch ideas, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. And now with all that being said, let's get on to the lunches. Now for Grace's lunch today, I'm gonna to be using the purple Ami box with the thermos, because like I said, all the lunches this week are going to be hot lunches. And I'm also gonna be including some mermaid decorations, because I know that Grace is a huge fan of mermaids. My first step for Grace's lunch is to cook some spaghetti noodles. And while those are cooking, I'm also gonna go ahead and heat up some frozen meatballs. Now, some of you probably already know this, but my kids are huge fans of meatballs, so we almost always have some frozen ones in the freezer. So now that the pasta is cooked and drained, I'm gonna go ahead and add some spaghetti sauce, and then I'm gonna stir it all together. Now, while the spaghetti and the sauce is piping hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the thermos. I'll top this with a few meatballs, and then I'm going to finish it off with a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. Now moving on to Grace's fruit. For her lunch today, she requested strawberries. And to make these a little bit more special, I'm going to cut these into roses. Now I know I've shared this a couple times before, but just in case you're new here, cutting strawberries into roses is actually really easy, but you have to be really careful. I just take my paring knife and I very carefully cut into the strawberry all around the sides. And as I'm doing this, I'm very gently curving each little cut. My next step is to add in some vegetables. First, some carrots, and then I'm also throwing in just a few slices of cucumber. And then, to go along with all of these veggies, I'm also gonna throw in some ranch. For Grace's treat, I'm gonna be adding in some salt and vinegar chips. Now, I'm a huge fan of salt and vinegar chips. I would love to know how many of you guys out there love salt and vinegar chips too. And then for Grace's treat, something I'm also a huge fan of. In this little section here, I'm adding just a few Reese's peanut butter cups. For Grace's drink today, she requested pink lemonade, so I'll go ahead and add that right on the side. And then to finish off this lunchbox, I do want to go ahead and add a few little food picks in here. Since I happen to have some really cute mermaid ones, they go perfectly with Grace's lunch. Hey guys, and welcome to lunch idea number two. For this lunch, I'm starting with some pre-cooked ground turkey meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some no salt taco seasoning. I'm gonna give that a stir. Next, I'm going to drizzle a little bit of mild taco sauce and then pop it in the microwave. Now that my turkey is piping hot, it's time to get it into my preheated thermoses. To go along with our taco salad, I'm also going to chop up some tomato and chop some lettuce. For our fruit today, I'm gonna to give the kids three different kinds of melon, watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew. Today, I'm gonna to throw in these extra large picks for the kids to use. And then for our vegetable today, I'm gonna to try giving the kids jicama one more time. Last time they weren't fans, let's see if any of them have changed their minds. So I'm gonna add my lettuce in here, my chopped tomato. I'm also adding some shredded cheddar cheese. And in these cute little squeeze bottles that I got from the Dollar Tree, I have a little bit of sour cream. And to make it a little bit easier in the bottle, I've added some milk to the sour cream so it's a little bit thinner. To go along with these lunches, I'm also gonna add one small bag of Doritos. And then today I have a really special treat. This is arroz con leche, which is basically rice pudding. I think it's really good, but I'm not sure if all of the kids will agree with me. So when it's lunchtime, the kids are going to open their bag of Doritos, then they're going to crush all the chips. You definitely wanna crush your chips, it's gonna make your taco salad a lot easier to eat because you eat it right out of the bag. The bag becomes your bowl. So you're gonna add your meat in there, your lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, 
a little squirt of sour cream, and then you mix it all up. Now, that brings me to a lunch idea that seems fancy, but it's actually really easy because I'm taking some help from the store. I'm making some butter chicken with rice. Now this is definitely something you could make the night before, but it's actually so quick and easy that you could just make it for lunch that day. So as you can see, I just browned up some chicken. Then I'm just taking this jar of butter chicken sauce. This is nice and flavorful, but it's still really mild. It's not spicy at all. And I'm just going to pour it over the chicken and add on the lid. This is called simmering sauce. So the idea is that the chicken will simmer in the sauce for only about 10 minutes and then it's good to go. So to the food jar, I'm gonna first add a little bit of steamed rice. Then I'm going to get plenty of that delicious butter chicken on top. For the fruit in this lunch, I decided to go with some fresh mango. And for the vegetables, I'm actually doubling up on some cucumber. I did go ahead and remove 50% of the skin on here. I think this looks really cool. And then right next to the cucumber, I'm also gonna be adding in some cauliflower. And I did go ahead and lightly steam this so it's a little bit softened and I did add a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. And then on the side, I'm also adding in a little yogurt pouch and some fruit punch for the drink. And for her lunch, Emily requested my personal favorite Japanese dish, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. For this dish, I'm going to need some good Japanese style sticky rice. And to cook this super fast, I'm just going to add it into my instant pot. And now comes the fun part. To go with the rice, I'm also going to prepare some Japanese style curry. That's right, you guys, my favorite Japanese dish is Karairaisu. To my pan on medium heat, I'm going to start by drizzling a little bit of olive oil. Then I can go ahead and get my chicken into the pan. Now, this is actually boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I really prefer dark meat in my curry, but of course, you can use any meat that you prefer or you could even leave it out. Next, I'm adding in carrots and potatoes, followed by about half of a diced onion. Now, I'm just going to keep stirring these for about five minutes or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. Next, I'm going to add some water and bring it to a boil. Once it is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add my lid on top, and then I'm going to cook this on medium for about 15 minutes. Once that is done, I can go ahead and turn off the heat, and then I'm gonna go ahead and break the curry cubes into my dish. And I say cubes because they come packaged like this. They look really cool and interesting to me. You really just have to break them up, throw them in, and they just dissolve so quickly into your dish. So now that the curry is nice and melted into my dish, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for five more minutes stirring constantly until my sauce thickens up. And doesn't that look good, you guys? It smells amazing. So if I was going to pack this for school or for work, I would start by adding some of the rice to the bottom of my Blue Ellie food jar. Then I would top it with the chicken curry. And because I'm notorious for spilling, I do like to use a canning funnel to get my food into the food jar. So now that Emily's main course is done, I'm going to move on to her fruit and veggie. First, I'm going to be adding some strawberry hearts, and on this side, I'm adding some banana coins. For her veggie, Emily requested cucumbers, and to dip them in, she also requested hummus. Next, I'm adding in a very Japanese snack. These are called vegetabaru. These come in a chisai hato shape, which means tiny heart shape, and they also say that they're salad flavor, or sarara flavor, which I'm not exactly sure how to describe. For Emily's sweet treat, I'm adding in some Koala's March cookies, which is basically a bite-sized cookie with a filling. This one happens to be the strawberry flavor, but they also make a really good chocolate flavored one. And then to complete this lunch, I'm also adding in a very fun Japanese drink, which is called Ramune. And this one happens to be in the pineapple flavor, which I've never actually tried before. And my taste tester for this lunch is my oldest daughter, Mackenzie. My favorite part of this lunch was, I think, the curry. But I also like the strawberry koala cookies. For this lunch, I'm gonna start by heating up some chicken taquitos. These are definitely one of the easiest party foods that you can make, and I especially like to bring them to parties. They're not fancy, but they're often the first to go. People love them. And I like to put these in my toaster oven. That way they cook really fast, but they get nice and crispy on the outside. 
Now the trick to putting these in a lunch is actually going to be to cut them in half. That way they can actually fit in the thermoses. Now whenever I bring taquitos to a party, I also like to bring some dipping sauces. So for this lunch, I'm giving each kid a little container of sour cream and a little container of mild guacamole. For our fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna throw in a mandarin orange. And of course, I'm gonna add my favorite picks. I love to add googly eye picks to my oranges. It's super easy, but makes them look really fun. Almost like a cute little monster. Next, I'm gonna throw in some carrots with some ranch, of course. Next, I'm also gonna throw in some cheese cubes. These are a Colby Jack cheese, and they're just like the ones you might find on a cheese platter at a party. For an added snack today, I'm also gonna offer the kids some sun chips. And for the treat, this tiny little package of Oreo cookies. There's just two cookies in there, perfect for a lunch. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in this yogurt drink. The kids love these, and they especially love the strawberry banana flavor. But I don't buy them too often. Now that brings me to a lunch idea sent in by Marley from Michigan. For her lunch today, I'm gonna to be adding in as many panda accessories as I can. And for her main course, I'm going to be making a hot lunch classic with an instant pot twist. So I'm putting together some chicken noodle soup, but this is going to be my first time ever making it in the Instant Pot. The recipe that I'm using is inspired by the ladies over at SixSisters.com. I am gonna be making a few changes to that recipe, but if you'd like the original one, I will link it down below so that you can check it out. So this chicken noodle soup includes all of your classic ingredients. We have chicken broth, diced onion, chopped celery, carrots. Next, I'm going to season this up with a teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt and pepper to taste. Next, I'm going to add in two cups of these uncooked egg noodles, followed by two cups of cooked chicken. So now that I have all of these ingredients in my Instant Pot, I just wanna go ahead and give it a big stir, and I do wanna make sure that the noodles are pretty well covered in the broth. Now, because this chicken is already cooked, the soup is going to come together so quick. I'm just going to cook it on manual for five minutes. Once the five minutes are up, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick release of the pressure. And check it out, you guys. This is the quickest and easiest chicken noodle soup you can make. Now that the soup is ready to go, I'm gonna add some into our thermos, and I'm going to garnish with a little bit of parsley. So now that brings me to Marley's fruit. For her lunch today, she requested a combination of blackberries and strawberries. So I'm gonna fit as many of these as I can in the back section of our lunchbox. And then for her vegetable, I'm gonna be adding in some carrots. And carrots have been really popular this week. I think I added carrots to every single lunch. For Marley's snack, she requested some Fig Newton bars. So I'm just adding a couple in here. And then for her special treat to go along with this panda theme, I'm adding in some Hello Panda cookies. And these come in lots of different flavors, but these ones happen to be filled with chocolate. And then the very last thing I'm adding into Marley's lunch is some cucumber flavored sparkling water. For this lunch, we're gonna start by making dessert first. And one treat that we always love to have at parties is some kind of Chex Mix. And then here comes the fun part. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of melted white chocolate all over the cereal and the pretzels and the M&Ms and then mix it all up together. Now before I can add this to the lunchbox, I do need to lay it on a cookie sheet and let the chocolate harden just a bit. So while that's happening, I'm going to heat up the main course, which is another party food that we love and that's mini hot dogs. There are so many different ways you can make mini hot dogs for a party, but today I'm keeping it really easy. I'm just gonna heat up these bagel dogs. Now once I have the bagel dogs heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the thermoses, but I've also added a little paper towel in the inside of the thermos, and that's gonna help our food stay hot, but not get really soggy. At least that's the idea anyway. This is my first time trying this method, so we'll have to see if it works or not. Next, I'm gonna slice up some cucumbers. And of course, I'm gonna stick some ranch in there. I have a really good ranch recipe. If you'd like to check it out, I will link it down below. I'm also gonna throw in some celery, pretty much just because I have it and I wanna use it all up before it goes bad. And then another food that we love to have at parties just to nibble on are black olives. So I'm just gonna add a few into today's lunch. And there you have it. This lunch is already kind of looking like a party veggie tray. 
For our fruit today, I'm gonna add some cubes of cantaloupe. And then in this back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add our Chex Mix. The chocolate's all nice and hardened, so I can just break up a few pieces and put it in the lunchbox. Now, if you don't like white chocolate, you can make this Chex Mix with regular chocolate, and it's really good too. For an added snack today, I'm also gonna throw in some Doritos, but these are the Cool Ranch ones. I'm gonna put a poll in right here. Let me know if you prefer nacho flavored Doritos or Cool Ranch. Now I don't have a special drink for today's lunch, so I'm just gonna give the kids water. Most of the time they just have water anyway. I'm going to start by making something called tomato bath. Tomato bath is basically a one pot rice dish. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had it before. It's basically made with rice, tomatoes, veggies, and lots of different spices. And I'll go ahead and put the exact recipe that I'm using in the description box below so you can check it out if you want to make this yourself. Now I'm going to be making this entirely in my instant pot. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my onions, my tomatoes, tomatoes and all of my spices in here. Next I'm adding in some chopped potato, about two and a half cups of water, and then two cups of rice. And I'm actually using basmati rice for this. Now I'm just going to give this a big stir and I'm going to cook this in my instant pot on the rice setting for 12 minutes. And check it out you guys, this smells so amazing. I can definitely smell the cinnamon in here and the cumin. This is definitely going to be a new flavor for us. I'm just going to fluff this up a little bit and then add it into my food jar. Now moving on to Krupanchi's fruit and veggie. For her fruit, she requested a delicious sounding fruit salad. In here, I'm gonna be adding in some chopped mango, some strawberries, pineapple, bananas, mandarin oranges, green apple, and watermelon. Now I don't know about you, but this sounds so good and it looks beautiful. I'm just going to stir this all together with a little bit of lemon juice. And then to go along with this, I'm also adding in some broccoli, some carrots, and for her snack, I'm gonna be adding in some popcorn. On the side, I have a very special sweet treat to add in. These are called Nice Time Coconut Biscuits. Now I've never tried these before, so I'm excited to try them. I love anything coconut, so I bet these are delicious. And then lastly, for Krupanchi's drink, she requested a mango lassi, which is a very popular drink in India. And it's basically a blend of yogurt, water, spices, and fruit. In this case, mango. And my taste tester for this lunch is my oldest son, Jackson. My favorite part of this lunch was the fruit salad, the cookies, and the mango drink. And for her lunch today, she requested very special chili. Now, of course, if you have a favorite chili recipe, go ahead and make that. But to make this lunch really quick and easy to throw together, I'm using the special Skyline Chili. You guys, this is really good and it's not your average chili. There's some extra spices in there that make it a little bit different but I think really good. So while the chili is heating up, I'm going to prepare the special ingredient that goes in the chili. That's right, you guys. Allie requested beef hot dog pieces to be added into the chili. So I'm just using some good old Nathan's hot dogs here, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice them up into bite-sized pieces, and then I'm going to take the extra step to throw them into a skillet for just a few minutes so that the edges can get nice and crispy. This is gonna add so much flavor to the chili. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people who likes their hot dogs extra kind of burnt on the outside. That is my favorite. So now I have the chili and the hot dogs in the thermos. I just wanna finish this off with a few little garnishes, including some shredded cheese and some finely diced fresh onion. These are both classic toppings for chili. For my next step, I'm going to add in Allie's fruit and she requested both strawberries and grapes but this time I'm going to change it up a little bit and add them to some skewers and to make these skewers extra pretty I am going to alternate the strawberries with the grapes in a very easy pattern. For Allie's veggie I'm adding in some celery sticks with ranch for dipping and for her snack I'm adding in some goldfish crackers. And then that brings me to Allie's sweet treat. She requested some mini cinnamon rolls. These guys are so cute and little and of course I love that cream cheese icing on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and add just one of these into the lunch box and then to complete Allie's lunch I'm gonna be adding in some milk because that's what she requested for her drink. And there you have it guys. That is everything in Allie's lunch.
Okay guys, next up we have breakfast for lunch. We love doing breakfast for lunch. So in the thermoses today, I'm going to add some ultimate scrambled eggs. To these scrambled eggs, I've already added some cheddar cheese, and now I'm gonna go ahead and chop in a little bit of bacon. This is the pre-cooked bacon. I'm such a fan of it, it's a big time saver. So I'm gonna chop that right into my eggs, followed by just a little bit of green onion. I love adding green onions to my eggs. I'm hoping that my kids will like it too. Okay, I'm gonna mix all of that together and then very quickly get it into my thermoses. To go along with our breakfast theme, I'm gonna throw in three mini pancakes and the kids are going to eat these cold. They're totally fine with that. And instead of giving them maple syrup to dip in, I'm gonna throw in something new today. This is a maple pumpkin butter. I found this at Sprouts, and it's not very sweet. It's got a lot of cinnamon in there. It definitely has pumpkin spice as well. It'll be interesting to see whether the kids like it or not. And I do have a separate lid for this container that I'm gonna add right before I pack it up. For some added fun, I'm gonna dig through my container of picks. You guys don't even wanna know how many picks I have. It's a lot, and sometimes it's hard to find just the one I'm looking for. For our fruit today, I'm gonna throw in a combination of blueberries and raspberries. And then for our vegetable today, I'm doing a combination of celery and carrots. Again, I'm just trying to use up what we've got on hand before it goes bad. And then in this little area, I have just enough space to add my little ranch container. This one's gonna have lots of party foods in it, but I'm actually gonna start by making dessert first. I thought it would be really fun to give the kids fortune cookies today, but to make them extra cute, I took some of my leftover white chocolate and melted it down, and now I'm going to dip half of my fortune cookie in the white chocolate and then quickly dip it into some sprinkles. These are super easy to make, but cute enough to take to a party. So now that I have all of my sprinkles on there, I am gonna set this aside so that the chocolate has time to harden, and while that's happening, I'm gonna move on to my meatballs. Meatballs are definitely a classic party food. You can just throw them in the crock pot with lots of different kinds of sauces, and they're usually a crowd pleaser. But since I'm just making a few meatballs today, I'm gonna do this on the stove. And for our special sauce today, I'm gonna use a combination of our favorite barbecue sauce, and I'm going to combine that with our favorite Asian style barbecue sauce. So there's teriyaki in there, ginger and garlic. It's a delicious combination. Now that the meatballs are heated through, I'll go ahead and add them to the thermoses. Now since our meatballs have sort of an Asian flavor to them, I thought some steamed dumplings would go really well with them. These ones are full of chicken and vegetables, and they come with a yummy dipping sauce. And then for our fruit today, another party favorite, which is a fruit salad. Now I'm keeping mine super simple today. It's just fruit. I'm not gonna add any Cool Whip or any added sugar. For our vegetable today, I'm adding some sugar snap peas. And then last but not least, our really cute fortune cookies. I'm gonna give the kids two a piece. This lunch is based on another party favorite, which is cheesy bean dip. But we're gonna turn it into a lunch. I'm gonna use a really yummy but easy bean dip recipe. This dip comes together in about 10 minutes. You only need a few ingredients. You could even add more layers to this dip and have like a seven layer thing going on. But today I'm just doing the beans and the cheese. Before I serve this, I do like to add more cheese on top and then stick it under the broiler for about five minutes. Now to keep this hot for lunch, I will go ahead and spoon it into my kids' thermoses. And then to go along with the bean dip, of course, I'm gonna add some chips to the lunch. These are the multi-grain scoops, which are perfect for dipping. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna add some celery, which is also very yummy to dip in the beans as well. And for the fruit, I have some delicious apples. But before I add these to the lunch box, I'm going to let them soak in some water mixed with a little bit of lemon juice. This is gonna keep our apples nice and fresh in the lunch box. They shouldn't turn brown and yucky. Ooh, and I almost forgot, I also wanna add a little bit of ranch to the lunch today so the kids can dip their celery in it. And then I'm also gonna give the kids a really yummy treat today. This is a rose con leche which is basically rice pudding, but this one has lots of yummy cinnamon added to it. No raisins though, the kids don't like it if it has raisins in it. 
And then last but not least for the drink today, I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids some of these lemonade pouches from Trader Joe's. And I'd say that is a good looking lunch. For Ella's main course, I'm gonna start by making some oatmeal. This is the good old fashioned oatmeal, but it's also the quick cooking kind too. Now I know there are so many different delicious topping options when it comes to oatmeal, but for Ella's oatmeal, she requested brown sugar, she also requested a little bit of cinnamon. And then finally, I'm also gonna be throwing in some raisins. I'm just gonna give this a big stir and while it's still nice and hot, add it to the lunchbox. So now that our main course is done, it's time to add in some fruit. And for Ella's lunch, I'm gonna be adding three different kinds. She requested a combination of blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this fruit in this back section here, so it's kinda like a fruit salad. Next, I'm going to be adding in some celery sticks, but instead of adding ranch to go along with these, Ella requested Caesar dressing. So I've just added a little bit to this separate container. For Ella's snack, she requested a combination of rice crackers and cheddar cheese. And for her treat, she requested a cinnamon bun. But you guys, at my store, I couldn't find any cinnamon buns, but I was able to find honey buns, which are kind of similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that on the side. And then finally for her drink, I'm going to recycle my good to grow bottle. I went ahead and just put some lemonade in here. And of course, since Ella is a huge fan of Iron Man, I added the Iron Man topper. Now I almost forgot to add in my food picks. I'm just gonna add a few of these Avenger picks right into the fruit section, just to dress them up a bit. And there you have it, there's everything in Ella's lunch. For Sabrina's lunch today, I'm gonna to be using the pink Ami box with this really cute llama napkin. And you guys, Sabrina's lunch is going to be vegetarian. For Sabrina's lunch, I'm gonna start by making the main course first, and she requested fettuccine alfredo. And she also told me that I could use whatever kind of pasta I wanted, so I thought it'd be really fun to use this colorful bow tie pasta. Now, I've actually had this in my pantry for quite a while, and I can't remember where I found it, but it does look really cool, and I think it will be awesome in this lunch. So once my pasta is cooked and drained, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some Alfredo sauce as well. Now, I could make this from scratch, but it's so much faster and easier to use of this kind. So now that I have this nice and hot, I can go ahead and add it into the lunchbox. And I have to say, this is smelling so good. Next up, I'm going to add in Sabrina's fruit. And for her lunch, she requested a combination of raspberries and mandarin oranges but she specifically asked for the kind that come in the can instead of the fresh ones. Next, I'm gonna add in some cucumber sticks with some ranch for dipping. And in this last little section here, I'm gonna be adding in Sabrina's treat, actually to go along with her snack, which is an applesauce cup. Sabrina says it is super delicious to actually dip graham crackers in the applesauce and eat it just like that. Now to me, that actually sounds really good, almost like an apple pie sort of combination. Now for Sabrina's drink, I'm gonna add in some chocolate milk, and then I'm gonna finish this lunch off with just a few little decorations. This lunch is going to combine two of our favorite party foods, pizza and sliders. To make these pizza sliders, I'm gonna start with some King's Hawaiian Rolls. These are so good. The next thing I'm going to do is add some pasta sauce. Now the trick here is not to use too much sauce, but you also don't wanna use too little sauce, otherwise your sandwiches will be dry. Next, I'm adding about three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, followed by a good thick layer of turkey pepperoni. There is a lot of pepperoni on here and that's exactly how we like it. Next, I'm adding another three quarters of a cup of shredded mozzarella. These sliders are gonna be extra cheesy and delicious. So now I'm just gonna put the top of the bread on and before I stick it in the oven, I have a really yummy sauce that I wanna spread on the top. For this, I'm using just a little bit of melted butter. To this, I'm going to add some powdered garlic and some Italian seasoning and then I'm going to mix it up. And then using my basting brush, I'm just gonna lightly coat the top. Last but not least, I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese all over the top. These sandwiches are gonna come out toasty and cheesy, but the best part is that they were really easy to make. 
While those are in the oven, I'll go ahead and prepare today's vegetable, which is just gonna be a few carrots. And in just about 10 minutes, our sliders are ready. These smell so good. The tops are a little bit toasty and buttery. The cheese inside is nice and melted. I'm pretty sure my kids are gonna love these. Now, I like to serve these when they're nice and hot, but you could definitely serve them room temperature as well. For our fruit today, I'm going to add some honeydew melon with just a handful of blueberries. I'll add a handful of carrots. And if you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that if there's carrots, there's often ranch as well. And then I'm also gonna throw in some really special yogurt. My kids have never tried them before. These are the Sour Patch Kids Go-Gurt yogurt tubes. For the drink today, I'm going to give the kids these really fun Minion juice bottles. There's actually apple juice inside. These are so cute. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen the Minion movie. We thought it was so funny. And then last but not least, I have a special treat for the kids today. I'm gonna let them share this box of Cracker Jacks. I know they'll be excited to see that there's a prize inside. This is definitely kind of an old fashioned treat. You guys, this snack is over 120 years old. And there you have it. There's everything in our lunch today. So I'm going to be using a lot of pink accessories today because I know that Hannah loves pink. My first step for this lunch is going to be prepare some mac and cheese. And I decided to go with the Annie's Deluxe White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. Not only is this super cheesy and delicious, but I also picked it because of its white color. And that's because I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. It may be a success, it may be a fail, I'm not sure yet, but I know since Hannah loves pink. I thought it'd be really fun to turn this mac and cheese pink. So I'm just adding a few drops of red food coloring in here and that's one of the reasons I went with the white mac and cheese because I didn't think the color would turn out quite right if I used the regular kind. Now definitely this food coloring is optional and check it out you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you think pink mac and cheese is awesome or just plain weird. So now that the mac and cheese is done I'm going to move on to Hannah's fruit. And for her lunch today, she requested pineapple. Awesome choice. So I'm just going to add some in this back section. And then for her vegetable, she requested carrots. And of course, you guys know I love crinkle carrots, so I'm going with those. And I think I have just enough space to add a little container of ranch dressing on the side for the carrots to be dipped in. Now moving on to Hannah's snack. She requested crisps, which I'm pretty sure mean potato chips here in the US. So I decided to go with some good old pizza flavored Pringles. These have a really interesting pizza flavor, but they also are kind of pink because of the seasoning on the outside. Over in this corner, I'm also gonna be adding in some Rice crispy Treat balls, which I've added a few pink sprinkles to to go along with our theme. And then to complete Hannah's lunch, she requested juice for her drink. So I decided to add one of these Honest Kids juice pouches, and this is in the cherry flavor. The juice itself is probably not pink, but there is pink on the outside packaging, so I think it's okay. And there you have it, guys. There is everything in Hannah's lunch. For this, I'm starting with some corn on the cob and I've gone ahead and sliced it into little pieces and I'm gonna throw these into some boiling water for just a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna chop up some fresh mango. I'm gonna add the mango to the lunchbox followed by the corn. And then I have something for the kids to try they've never had before and I think these are called Doritos. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had these. My store had regular ones and they also had spicy, but I went with the regular ones. I think these are really cute because they look like a wagon wheel. Now just in case the kids aren't into them, I'm just gonna give them a few. And then for our special treat today, I'm going to give them just one little cookie. The kids have never had these before either. These are strawberry filled tartinas. In the thermos today, I'm going to add some leftovers. This is just Mexican style beans and rice. I have a really good recipe, I'll link it down below. Next, I'm gonna throw in just a couple more things. Some Go-Gurt Simples, 
and some kind kids bars. These are in the chewy honey oat flavor. For Amber's main course, I'm going to start by heating up some fully cooked meatballs covered in barbecue sauce. For the meatballs today, I'm using these mini meatballs. These are fully cooked, I just have to warm them through. And then since I don't have any North Carolina style barbecue sauce, I'm going to use this Sunny's barbecue sauce, which is a local Florida style barbecue sauce. So now that these meatballs are fully cooked, coated in the sauce. I just have to pop them into the microwave or you could also bake these in the oven until they're warmed through and piping hot. Now to go along with these barbecue meatballs, Amber also requested a little bit of rice. So I'm actually going to add rice to this thermos first and then I'm going to top it with the barbecue meatballs. You guys, this is smelling and looking so good. Now you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you are a fan of barbecue sauce, which style is your favorite? I know some are more smoky, some are more sweet. There's also vinegar based barbecue sauces. You let me know which one's your favorite. So now that the main course is done, I'm going to move on to some fruit. And for Amber's lunch, I'm going to be doubling up here with a combination of both strawberries cut into hearts and green grapes. And then for her vegetable, I'm adding in some carrots with these cute little carrot picks. Now moving on to Amber's snack, she requested something that I'm pretty sure is brand new. This is Cheetos flavored popcorn. Now you guys have to let me know if you've tried this. I haven't tried it yet, but I can tell you it comes in regular and flaming hot. So if you like spicy, they have that available too. And I'm just putting a little bit in this back section. I definitely wanna make sure I have enough space for Amber's special treat, which is a mini vanilla cupcake with extra sprinkles, of course. And then lastly, for Amber's drink, she requested grape juice. So I'm just adding one of these little Honest Kid juice pouches in the grape flavor. Now you guys, I have to say meatballs don't make the prettiest lunch, but they definitely taste and smell amazing. Let me know in the comments down below, out of all of the lunches this week, which one was your favorite? Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.